It is a new week and the conversations are still very hot on social media. Welcome to another Monday on NC Trends. My name is Sean Bankoli. The internet was thrown into a burst of excitement on Sunday as music star DeVito made his first public appearance since the passing of his first son, Ifai Adeleke. Photos of the singer at his uncle's inauguration as the new governor of Osho State were all over social media yesterday, sparking all forms of reaction from his fans. From prayers of strength for David Do and Shoma to those that noticed his weight loss and the connection with Nollywood actress Genevieve Naji, who also made her first public appearance since her birthday in May, the comments have been endless. Let's see a few of them. This comment says, only one OBO, Omo Babolo. His appearance sweet past all the albums that have dropped since he went offline. <sighs> May he recover all that he has lost. Amen. A big amen to that. And sent by Ned says, one of his greatest qualities is that he understands and appreciates family. Yes, he's mourning, but he still went to celebrate with his uncle. A big deal. And this auntie, hmm, she has a different opinion. This is way too soon. People don't respect the dead with how fast they are quick to move on. Highly disappointing at the video. It's your son that passed on, not a friend. How will you come out so soon? Well, that's a comment. Still in Nigeria, a final yesterday of Federal University Dutse, Jigawa State, is reported to have been arrested over a tweet against the First Lady of Nigeria, Aisha Buhari. Reports have either Aminu Adamu Mohamed of the Department of Environmental Management and Toxicology posted on Twitter in June that Mrs. Buhari had added massive weight after taking part in plundering the nation's resources. The tweet which was posted in Hausa language can be translated as the mother has gotten fatter by eating masses money. According to a family source, the 23-year-old student was picked up by officers on November 8th in his campus and subjected to severe beating. This story has sparked outrage among social media users. Some of the comments we found online include this one from Inkem. She says, what Aisha Bwari drama taught me is that our institutions have the capacity to work. The DSS and the police can fish out a person if they want to. They appear useless now because of Bwari's incompetence. Put these institutions in the hands of a competent leader and see them perform. Oluomo of Derby says, Nigeria is a really messed up country. Aisha Bwari can use the DSS to arrest someone who insulted her, but the DSS cannot arrest the people who stoned and burnt Deborah Samuel to death. One example, Deborah's killers are still working free in Sokoto State. Engineer Abdul Malik has this to say, if our southern brothers can stand for us more than the so-called Arewa influencers on the abduction of our friend Aminu by Aisha Buhari, we have no choice than to call on our youths to unite ourselves against this political tyrant. Reactions to the report of the beating. We wrap things up tonight in Cameroon where the death of at least 14 people on Sunday from a landslide that occurred during a funeral ceremony has caused widespread mourning on Cameroon's Twitter. The victims had gathered at the top of a hill for a memorial service for five of their relatives when the ground collapsed on that part of the audience. Here are some of the comments we found on Twitter. It is unimaginable that citizens with outright stubbornness still cannot see the dangers of building in risky zones. Yes, reacting to reports of the landslide. And Brenda says, we are living the impact of climate change. The rains are heavier than usual and people continue to live in high risk zones due to poverty. It often takes disasters like this for government to realize that they are not doing enough. It should not end with speeches and greetings to say we sympathize with you. Alpha Amara says, hmm, it is an absolutely emotional situation. May their souls rest in peace. Amen. And that is all for tonight on NC Trends. Have a good night. I am Shil Bankoli.